you here. You guys have the same opportunity that I have. It's not about being a doctor. It's not about having a title or anything like that. But what I'd like to do is have everybody give Mark Walker, Russ Fletcher, Curtis Paul, Steve Elders, the entire corporate team, a big round of applause. <laughs> What I'd like to do is thank my personal team that's here from Puerto Rico, Canada, the United States, and we've got some people here representing Europe. So if you guys can all stand. Again, it's a singular family. It doesn't matter if we're at Zayn Fetty, Zayn Fest, 
We're always here for you. You know, we just got great pictures. I love the support online, everything that we can do. But really what it is, is a singular way. It's our mission to change lives by improving health, wealth, and overall way of life and prosperity. And prosperity doesn't have to be money. You don't have to, you know, be Mr. Blake Blake. You don't have to have material possessions if you don't want to. But we, you can definitely have that, just like Stan was saying. Uh, but what I want to do next is show you a little video clip of what I've done in my offices for the last 15 years, helping over 10,000 patient visits a year. And this is a particular woman that's almost 100 years old. She didn't take her first medication until she was 93. But that's what I love about the platform that Singular has here is the fact that we can help people naturally most of the time without drugs or surgery. My name is Grace. I'm 99 years old. I've been under chiropractic care most of my life. And how long has chiropractic care helped you, Grace, over the years? Chiropractic helped me keep away from medications that I didn't like anyway. <laughs> Or 95 before you took your first medication? Uh, uh, when, when I was 93, my heart started pacing and I had to be taken to the hospital at that time. And I didn't drive after that. Now, to share that, you've been feeling really good, haven't you guys? For 99 uh, Other than that, I have not taken medications. I've been under chiropractic care. My first husband was a doctor of chiropractic. And I have not taken medication to any extent. Fantastic. And what about you, Connie? What would you like to say? How's chiropractic care help you? I'm Connie and I'm her daughter. I'm 73 years old. I still take no medicine, and uh, of course my dad was a chiropractor, and so I've been under chiropractic care all of my life. And I really, I don't know how I would manage without this care. Dr. McHenry is one of the best. Thank you.
Just like Stan was saying, this company is going to grow. It's going to be huge. You're going to change lives and see things happen that you've never imagined. But it's about health, about statistics, and that's what I combine. This company is a direct sales company. They could have taken the overall route of you know, using the uh, you know, Costco, Sam's, Walmart in order to take their product you know, to the people. Instead, they're paying us, and uh, it's incredible paying out about 50% back to the distributors you, which is I think, somewhere around two and a half million a month going back to us. So that's creating a lot of health out there and well. But uh, look at this statistic here, Mike. 65, 46% of the population is on four to five different medications. That doesn't sound very healthy to me. One out of three people get diagnosed with cancer. 46% people, uh, people are clinically obese. It's actually higher than that when you look at the youth that, you know, just people being overweight. It's, it's probably nearly seven out of 10 people. 90 million borderline diabetics. So is that creating a market for you? Absolutely. We're talking about a $3.4 trillion industry, which is three and a half times bigger than the pharmaceutical industry. But when you look at the statistics to what happens when you start losing weight, you're talking about one pound loss is one mile of blood vessels. It's easier on your heart. One pound loss is four pounds of pressure off your knees. And when most people retire, this is where we come into play here, we can get paid to help this. When most people retire, they have less than $25,000 of their savings relying on a broken government health care system, Social Security and Medicare. So do we have hope? Absolutely. We can help these people naturally most of the time. And this is really another reason why I got all fun, freedom, and lifestyle. Absolutely, I love my toys. You know, I mean, they're great. And uh, just getting started with the reflection that I have. Uh, I haven't bought that 120 foot yacht yet, but that is on my, uh, that is on the horizon, or the private jet. So I think I have a couple more little bonus checks to get, but it will happen eventually. So with that being said, what I want to do is just close this out too with uh, another motivational video. But uh, you know, I just want to thank everybody for coming here and uh, listening to me. And you know, you guys had an exciting weekend. You got some people out there like Robin Packard earning $100,000 a month. And you got Callis Adele, you got Freddie Elias, Tyrone Parker, Dusty Healy. I mean, you name it, a lot of good leaders out there. Definitely rub elbows with them and ask them what they did to build their business. So we couldn't be in a better business today than what we're in right now. And I absolutely love this company and everything that we're doing. So that being said, I am going to play this video. And today, we're going to be talking about aiming for the impossible. I have found in my life that it's always best to aim for the impossible. Aim as high as possible as you possibly can. There's a saying, it says, you might as well, if you shoot for the stars and you fall short, at least then you're still gonna hit the moon. So, if you find yourself lacking in motivation, then your goals are too small, you're being too realistic. You need to have bigger goals and higher and loftier goals. Because the size of your vision is going to determine the size of your motivation. If you find yourself lacking in motivation, the reason for that is because your vision, your goals, your dreams are too small. So, from now on, aim for the impossible. What that does is that awakens the giant within you. It takes you into a whole new paradigm, a whole new mindset. When you start thinking really big, then your thinking changes, and then you start achieving more. So, then you will be amazed at what you can achieve. So, expand, push, dream, dare to dream.